one measly dollar. That's Mark Zuckerberg's annual salary. Yet, he can still live like a king because he's just so darn stinking rich already. In 2018 alone, the Facebook CEO earned roughly $1.7 million every single hour. When you've eclipsed billionaire territory, the way you think, travel, and most importantly, spend changes dramatically. Zuckerberg is absolutely rolling in the cash, to the extent that he can flaunt his money all over the place, buying giant estates, $150,000 super yachts, entire companies, and million-dollar supercars without even making a dent in his bank account. How wealthy is he exactly? How crazily does he splurge? Let's find out. What's one thing that nearly every single billionaire has in common? An impressive real estate portfolio, that's what. While other wealthy entrepreneurs, business people, and A-listers are known to fork out a few million on one or two enormous houses, Mark Zuckerberg takes it one colossal step further. The tech mogul spent more than $59 million on two adjacent Lake Tahoe properties in early 2019. The pair of properties total around 10 acres, sport 15 bedrooms, and offer a number of docks and piers to accommodate multiple boats. And yep, that includes his $150 million super yacht, but we'll get to that later. The Lake Tahoe compound sits on the west shore, just outside of Tahoe City, and dishes up some of the most serene views imaginable. The smaller of the two mansions, known as the Carousel Estate, dates back to 1930, while the larger of the two, the Brushwood Estate, was built in the 1960s and has two adjoining guest houses where visitors can kick back and enjoy the quiet surroundings. Get this though, the Lake Tahoe compound makes up merely a tiny sliver of his real estate collection. All up, Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan have purchased, hold on to your hats people, a whopping 10 properties. He forked out a cool $7 million for this 5-bedroom, five 5-bathroom five home in Palo Alto aka Silicon Valley, and then proceeded to spend an eye-popping $43 million to purchase four surrounding homes. There is no way his neighbors can peer in if he has no neighbors, right? In 2014, Zuckerberg's real estate portfolio expanded to the beautiful, sunny Kauai Island in Hawaii. $100 million was handed over for two properties, spanning 750 acres across a stunning, isolated stretch of Hawaiian beach. Three years later, the couple splurged an extra $45 million to slap another 89 acres to the plot of land. Zuckerberg also reportedly paid off $66 million for the Kahuaina Plantation, which is located right next to the postcard word the Pilas Beach. Stunning, isn't it? While authorities have approved the plantation to house 80 homes, being a privacy seeker, Zuckerberg plans to build just the one. As we jet back to the mainland, cast your eye toward this historic $10 million, 5,500 square foot townhouse in San Francisco. Built in 1928, it certainly needed a few renovations, 1.6 million bucks worth of renovations to be precise, which has resulted in a new kitchen, expensive wine room, greenhouse, and media room. 10 houses? An entire plantation? How on earth can one person plant enough money trees to afford this kind of extravagance? One word. Facebook. Let's rewind for a second, because before he was Mr. Facebook, he was just a college kid majoring in psychology, writing code, beer in one hand, struggling with insomnia, and orchestrating low-level computer hacks. While at Harvard, he wrote a program called Course Match, which helped students choose their subjects based on what courses their friends or crushes were enrolled in. While a minor success, it would be his next piece of software that would gain real traction in the Harvard community. It was called FaceMatch, and essentially, it was a digital who's hotter platform. From there, Zuckerberg met with Diva Narendra and the Winklevoss twins, who pitched him the idea of Harvard Connection, a Harvard-only social networking concept. Zuckerberg spun that idea and made it his own. On February 4, 2004, he registered the domain name thefacebook.com, later shortening it to just Facebook. And from there, it was up, up, and away. In no time, Facebook expanded to Stanford, Columbia, and Yale, and then, well, everywhere else on the planet. He ditched Harvard after his sophomore year to concentrate on the site, which proved to be a master stroke. Friends who met in real life could now communicate with each other online. It was something new, something revolutionary. 
The users grew and grew, and so did the cash. Each year since Facebook went public in 2012, Zuckerberg has added an average of $9 billion to his net worth. $9 billion per year? That's insane. On a $50,000 salary, it would take the average worker an astounding 34 years to make what Mark Zuckerberg makes in just 60 minutes. Your entire career's income is equivalent to what Zuckerberg makes going to the bathroom. Just let that sink in. As it stands, the groundbreaking entrepreneur has now ticked over the exclusive $100 billion net worth. That's more than Warren Buffett and Elon Musk, 384 times more than Leonardo DiCaprio, and greater than the entire GDP of Jordan, Nicaragua, and Jamaica combined. While Zuckerberg has forked out hundreds of millions on houses, planes, yachts, and cars, the majority of his money over the past decade and a half has gone straight back into his pride and joy, Facebook. One of the greatest tech minds of our time isn't naive enough to think that Facebook is invincible. Competitors pop left, right, and center on the regular. So rather than compete with a new threat on the horizon, Zuckerberg takes a different approach. Just buy them out. In 2012, he bought Instagram for a billion dollars. Two years later, he acquired WhatsApp for a staggering 19 billion. Oculus VR cost him 2.3 billion in 2014. Ascenta cost him 20 million. FriendFeed was purchased in 2008 for 47.5 million. And just recently, in June of 2020, Facebook bought Mapillary, a street level imagery startup. You know what that means? Google Maps and Apple Maps? Watch out. But he's not always buying companies. Sometimes, out of the good of his heart, he's giving away parcels of cash to well meaning nonprofits and charities. In 2015, Zuckerberg gave $100 million to help improve the public school system in Newark, New Jersey. His desire to aid the education system doesn't stop there. He's also kindly provided $5 million in down payment assistance so that teachers can become homeowners in the incomprehensibly priced Silicon Valley area. On the surface, these are incredibly selfless contributions. But remember, Zuckerberg could give every single living person in the U.S. $100 and still have more than half of his astronomical net worth left over. That truly unbalanced piggy bank is partly why he signed what's known as the Giving Pledge, which promises to donate 50% of his net worth to charitable causes before his time on this earth comes to an end. While he's still here, however, Mark and his wife have launched the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, a foundation that provides funding for research, development, and engineering projects and hopes to eradicate disease and support justice. While we certainly applaud him for these ventures, it goes without saying that a man of his wealth still, from time to time, likes to spend big. And we're talking real big. Case in point, Ulysses, a $150 million monster yacht. At 350 feet long, Ulysses is truly something else. It boasts a large swimming pool, jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, massage room, formal dining area, enormous wine cellar, and a master suite that would rival the finest hotel rooms. For that extra touch of prestige, it also came with its very own private helicopter, separate 78-foot boat, 4x4 car, and because why not, a motorcycle. The estimated monthly maintenance cost of the yacht alone is $2 million. If he's not sailing the seven seas, Mark is jetting from coast to coast on a chartered private jet. While it saves him time and hassle, the reality is that a man of his notoriety and wealth doesn't really have a choice. Facebook says that the private plane service is necessary for Zuckerberg due to the specific threats of his safety. In 2016 alone, the charter flights cost $871,000. Multiply that over a decade and the number soars into the tens of millions. While he hops in the private planes for any work-related trips, be it domestic or international, Mark also relies on the service for his personal travel. And yep, that includes top-of-the-line luxury-centric vacations. So, where does a man who can afford to go anywhere on the entire planet choose to spend his very few days off? Over the years, the infamous CEO has been spotted sometimes with his better half and sometimes without in Vietnam, Japan, and France, just to name a few, not to mention all over the USA. In 2017, he and Chan marked their five-year wedding anniversary with a romantic trip to, go ahead, take a guess, Venice? Nope. The Bahamas? Uh-uh of all places, rural Maine. Because of those safety concerns we mentioned earlier, traveling isn't as straightforward as you think. Mark almost always is escorted around by his security detail, and trust us, protecting one of the world's richest and most controversial business executives costs more than a pretty penny. Spanning three years, from 2014 through 2016, Facebook footed the bill of $14.8 million for his protection. That number would have easily doubled in the time since, especially with the Cambridge Analytica drama coming into the forefront of the news. 
Zuckerberg doesn't just have his own security team, he's also got his own PR team, consisting of 12 marketing, social media, and branding professionals who help manage the Facebook brand and keep it in a positive light. The average annual base salary at Facebook is $120,000, which means well over a million bucks a year is spent in PR, and yes, that includes keeping Zuckerberg's bland uniform on point. While Mark doesn't spend millions on fashion like many other celebrities, he has actually created a line of basic clothes that mirrors exactly what he rocks every day. Yep, we're talking those plain old gray t-shirts, jeans, and a pair of sneakers. Just because the signature outfit is basic, don't assume that it's cheap. In fact, each gray shirt comes from designer brand Bruno Cusinelli and costs, ready for this, up to $400. His low-key fashion goes hand-in-hand -hand with his choice of wheels. Zuckerberg is known for driving relatively inexpensive cars. Even though he can literally afford not one, not two, but 239,000 Lamborghini Aventadors, he settles for the unassuming, far less flashy means of transport. He's been seen cruising around in a $30,000 Acura TSX, a $30,000 Volkswagen Golf, and a $16,000 Honda Fit. However, he does hold the keys to one particularly flashy set of wheels. This stunning piece of Italian automotive art is the Pagani Huayra, which sells for about $1.3 million. It's a little funny to picture this geeky software developer roaring the Pagani's engine, and even funnier when you imagine his Hungarian sheepdog beast sitting in the passenger seat. If you were in charge of Facebook, what's the first change you'd make? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the richest, and as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.